and welcome to Council Catch-Up on WSTO-TV, TDS Channel 12 and 981 uh, coming up here next week, uh, Charter 981, uh, Apple TV, Roku TV, and Fire TV also on your Android and iOS phone. We're here to talk about the August 22nd City Council meeting, um, and I'm here with Mayor Swadley. Welcome. Thank you. So after the call to order and all of the normal beginning of the meeting stuff, We'll start with new business item seven, resolution uh, 128 and also resolution 129 relating to uh, closures of two different types of budgets. So we have a couple funds that um, we've had in the past where we've basically taken uh, income from our rental units. That would be uh, the senior center annex and we had tenants in there, the um, utilities slash EMS building um, and also the uh, um, the other building, City Hall. Um, yeah, the the revenue that we get from one community bank for uh, leasing out a portion of City Hall, and that money went into a fund, and then we use that money to pay for some maintenance items in the buildings. And what we've decided to do last year during the budget process was to free up that money to use it for our operations, which is basically um, for our people for our utility bills, for our insurance, um, for our daily activities, and then just borrow money uh, for these smaller projects. So basically we're at a point where we want to close out these funds and also uh, eliminate the policy that's no longer needed to manage those funds. And that policy would be the next item, Resolution uh, 130, correct? Correct. All right. Uh, so then uh, we also have Resolution 131 to amend city policy for vested sick leave payouts. Yeah, so basically um, Finance Director Ehlinger and uh, Director uh, Gillingham, um, you know, work together. We constantly update these types of policies uh, to reflect um, what we need to do in order to be able to have money available for uh, retirees. Okay. Item number 11, Ordinance 26, uh, Certified Survey Map of Lots one, two, three, and Outlot One, and I think this is the Stoughton Trailers headquarters. It is. Uh, so this was for a first reading, so we just really wanted to introduce kind of the layout uh, where they anticipate doing the phase one, which is the corporate headquarters, and really uh, looking at conceptually what the lots will look like in order to be able to facilitate the development of that building. All right, and uh, number 12, Ordinance 27 is a uh, planned development for 211 South Water Street. Yeah, so this was also a first reading. Um, the developers have been through the plan commission several times now, and basically what they want to do is flip the building at 211 South Water Street from a commercial building to a residential building. Um, so we would have some affordable units in the downtown, so people that would live there would be able to walk um, to get their goods or services or possibly even work in the downtown area. So we think this is a good development that will increase the value of the building and provide more housing opportunities. All right. Ordinance 28, also first reading. Um, and this is talking about that uh, apartment complex area that they're planning in uh, uh, behind Walmart. Yeah, so you might recall behind the True Hotel, there, um, initially, uh, we had hoped there was going to be a convention center there. Developers had decided that uh, the market won't support it at this time, so they basically want to go through a process to rezone the lots um, for some apartment units. You may recall um, at a previous council meeting there was action taken to deny the planned development process uh, for this particular uh, development. And the plan development process is the process that we use um, that gives us more flexibility um, on things like meeting the uh, zoning requirements on setbacks, um, on landscape requirements and things like that. Um, so the developers came back with a new application uh, to change the zoning and then their new design, which is very similar to the, the previous one, uh, does meet the requirements as far as the, uh, the parking, the the uh, setbacks and the landscape, and they've also incorporated some more sustainability practices um, while they were at it. All right. Resolution 132, uh, Extraterritorial Jurisdiction Land Division on Leslie Road in the town of Dunkirk. So the city of Stoughton is uh, considered a fourth-class city, and under the state statutes, 
Um, a fourth class city has um, some jurisdiction within a mile and a half of our borders. So basically, if somebody wants to build out in the townships, they have to seek approval from the township, uh, the city, as well as the county uh, before they proceed with the development. And typically, these are on family farms where they want to put up a shed, or maybe they're building a home for, for mom and dad when they retire, or something like that. This particular one is really on the edges of our mile and a half radius. We don't really think it'll um, prohibit us from doing anything that would, um, you know, be uh, a, anything that would, you know, hurt our future development as far as having an orderly process. All right. Uh, resolution 133, authorizing and directing the property city officials to enter into agreement with uh, Pablocki Paving uh, for Veterans Road Storm Sewer Replacement Project. Uh, so this is a project that's been on our radar for several years, and uh, we put some money in the budget last year to do it. We do have a stormwater fund um, that funds most of these types of projects, and basically the culvert that there is smashed, so we're replacing it so it works properly and then tidying up some other things as long as we're in there doing the work. All right, and the last item was Ordinance 29, a first reading to amend a ward designation for recently annexed territory. Yeah, so recently we annexed uh, some area out on 51 West on the west side um, across from the Stoughton Trailers development. And during that process, we were instructed by the county to create a new ward, and we inadvertently um, put the wrong ward number down, so we just brought this back in order to, to correct the typo. Um, the city council did choose to waive the first reading, so we were able to take action on it last night, and it was approved. All right, and that was all we had for the uh, August 22nd City of Stoughton City Council meeting. Join us next time on Council Catch-Up to hear about the next meeting. Thank you.